Have you ever noticed how the power of voice can change everything? We often speak, listen and respond. Voice is how we collaborate, how we solve problems and how we work together. And now Microsoft 365 Copilot is catching up because Copilot Voice is here. Isn't that right, Copilot? Hey everyone, it's your Copilot here. This might be the first time you've heard me and today I'm here with Scott to show you what I can do and how I can help you out. Yes, that's your new co-pilot speaking to you. And I've been lucky enough to get early access to see exactly what it can do. And I must tell you, this is the feature I've been waiting the longest for. That's because when we can speak to an AI assistant, we open up a completely new way of working. Whether we're on the go, multitasking, or just want to skip the keyboard entirely. And today, I'm going to show you how Copilot Voice works to help us plan our day work with our files and conduct research. And I'll then give my personal thoughts on what it does well and what it doesn't do so well. And at this point, I'd usually ask you to like and subscribe, but this time I'll get my new friend to help me out. And hey, if you want to see more from Scott about what I can do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And with that, let's dive in. Well, no co-pilot's done that for me. I guess we really should dive in. So let's go and preview the new Copilot voice capabilities. To do that, I'm going to head over to Copilot on the web and open up the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. And in here, we see much the same. The work versus the web tab and our prompt box to go and write our prompt to Copilot. But we see a new option to start a new voice chat with our Copilot. By left clicking this, we'll be taken straight into the voice chat and we can begin to converse with Copilot using our voice. Let's go and try that out. Hey Copilot, can you summarize what my day is looking like, please? All right, so today's looking quite busy. You've got an AMA session with the COO at the start of the day. Later in the afternoon, there's an optional office hours session, as well as a sync on Prosware product design around the same time. After that, there's an interview for digital marketing specialists. You've also got your weekly one-on-one -on -one meetings in the evening with Michael and Jaden, though there's a slight conflict with a market intelligence sync scheduled at the same time as Jaden's That's interesting, Copilot. On that conflict we're having there, is there a preference based on what I'm working on that I should be prioritizing on those two different meetings? So the weekly one-on-one -on -one with Jaden is more about progress updates, feedback, and setting short-term goals. It's a recurring touch point, so you could potentially shift it if needed. On the other hand, the market intelligence sync seems a bit more time sensitive, focusing on project scope, data requirements and methodology discussions with multiple stakeholders. That might be harder to reschedule and could have a more immediate impact on ongoing work. So it might make sense to prioritize the sync today and reschedule your one on one with Jaden, if possible. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Let's move it out and ask to pick it up next week. Do you mind drafting me an email to send over to Jaden? And so we'll let him know that we'll be able to make that meeting. Sure. Here's a quick draft you can send over. Hi, Jaden. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to give you a heads up that I won't be able to make our one on one today due to a conflict. Could we reschedule it for next week instead? Let me know what time works best for you. Thanks for understanding. Best, Scott. Cool. That's great. Thanks, co pilot. You're welcome. Let me know if there's anything else I can help with. And what's interesting is when we come out of our co-pilot voice conversation, we'll see the co-pilot conversation is stored in the exact same way. We can see it here in our existing co-pilot conversation. We could reopen a voice chat or begin to converse with co-pilot in the same way using text. So yes, all of your conversations in co-pilot are still stored as conversations. But it's really important to remember that that conversation was around my upcoming day. If I now want Copilot to help me by analyzing data, I'm best to start a new conversation or a new chat with Copilot. And I once again can go and start up a new voice chat. But this time, I'm going to ask Copilot to find out information on this invoice data spreadsheet. I want insights from this file. Is that possible? Well, let's go and find out. Head back into Copilot chat. And now let's start up our new voice chat. Hey Copilot, there's a file in my OneDrive around invoices. What I'd like you to do is review that data and find out what any insights from it. 
So I've had a look at the invoice data you've got in your OneDrive, and here's what stands out. There are a variety of customers like Gamma Inc., Delta Solutions, Feta Enterprises, Acme Corp., and so on. Some invoices are already settled, but a few are still outstanding. Some from Acme Corp., Delta Solutions, and others. In terms of insights, you might want to focus on those unpaid invoices and check the due dates to prioritize follow-ups. That's interesting, In Copilot. Can you drill a little bit deeper and let me know of all those companies, how much invoices are outstanding and the amounts, please, because so I can follow up with those? Sure thing. Let's break it down by company for you. For Delta Solutions, there's about 1,588 outstanding. Feta Enterprises has roughly 218 pending. Acme Corp has about 7,264 outstanding. As for Epsilon Services, around 2,338 is still pending. Lastly, Gamma Inc. has a small one of about 4,215 pending. That's interesting. These are the companies that have... Can you now actually go a step further and write up a short report? I need to share it with my finance director, let you know which of these companies are, have any invoices outstanding and the amounts too, written professionally. Can you go ahead and get that done? Absolutely. I'll put together a neat summary you can share with your finance director. Subject, Outstanding Invoices Overview. Dear finance director's name, I hope this message finds you well. Following a recent review of our invoice data, I've identified several companies with outstanding invoices. Below are the details. Acme Corp. Several invoices are outstanding, summing up to around £7,264. Awesome, Epsilon co -pilot. That'll do me. I'll go ahead and send that email. Perfect. Glad I could help, and I hope it makes the follow-up process a bit smoother. Now, if you've got Copilot or it's coming soon to your team or business, you might be thinking, now what? Because let's be honest, enabling Copilot is just the start of the journey. The real challenge of Copilot is unlocking the value that you crave. That's exactly where we come in at Your365 Coach. Because as you've seen on this channel, we get Copilot, we understand it, and we can teach it. Whether that's through in-person workshops, remote training sessions, or our brand new academy, packed with hours of learning content on Copilot, we can give you the practical skills and strategies to truly make Copilot work for you, your team, and your business. So if you want to unlock the gains that Copilot promises, we're here to guide you and give you the practical skills and the best ways to work. You can get in touch with us today and find out more at our website linked below. Now, let's jump back into Copilot and continue to talk with it and see what's new. But now let's consider another scenario. How about researching and using this web tab to research around some new AI enhancements? Could we give our new Copilot voice capability this problem and then just listen in to that conversation? Or how does it handle as well translation? What if English isn't my first language and I prefer it in French? Let's try both of those scenarios out by starting a new voice chat with our co-pilot. Hey co-pilot, can you go and research the web and find out the latest enhancements in AI over the last six months? Over the past six months, there's been a lot happening in the AI world. One of the biggest trends is that we're inching closer to artificial general intelligence. Basically, AI that can perform tasks across different domains like a human. There's a lot of excitement that we might be on the verge of that breakthrough. We've also seen big this is really in interesting, healthcare. Co pilot. Could you actually change this? English isn't my first language, and I prefer French. Can you go ahead and give me this actually in French instead, please? Bien sûr. Ces six derniers mois, on a assisté à pas mal de progrès dans l'IA. L'une des tendances majeures, c'est That's interesting, co pilot, but I was just playing. French isn't my first language. Can you put that back in English? No worries, I've got you. So basically, over the last six months, one of the big trends is that we're getting closer to artificial general intelligence. People are feeling more optimistic Excellent. about Great how- Excellent, job, co-pilot. I think that's all we need for today. I'll come back to you later with what I need next. That sounds great. Just give me a shout whenever you need. Have a good one. So what are my thoughts on this new co-pilot voice capability? Well, I think it's really impressive. The ability to have real conversational interactions with Copilot is a big step forward, especially connecting to your work data. You can interrupt it, redirect it, ask for follow-ups, 
and it feels really natural, really good for quick insight to explore in your diary or emails. I'd also think it opens up a new world of accessibility. If you find typing slow or challenging, or just prefer to speak your thoughts, this could be the change in Copilot opens up entirely new ways to work. But this is still a preview, and like any version one, there are some limits that are worth knowing, which I also came across. Right now, you can't ask it to draft an email and open that draft straight in Outlook. You'll need to do it through Copilot chat and copy and paste it into Outlook. I'd love to see these email drafts just appear in my Outlook drafts folder, because sure, I wouldn't want Copilot to just go and send all my emails out, but copy and pasting them feels like I'm living back in the 90s. And right now, it can't also open agents, which means you're tied to the standard Copilot chat experience. That means for research, you may want to use the research agent, but I couldn't open that in our conversational experience. And while Copilot talks with us, we can't yet choose its voice, so there's no switching to a different voice or just in the tone, but I'd take a guess that that will change in the future as we've seen that in other different AI platforms. Creating content like charts or visuals still requires typing. Copilot Voice can't yet create those directly from a voice instruction. And that's because the conversational interface just doesn't seem to support that. And one frustration I've found is it only works in the Copilot app. But Microsoft has shown this working in Copilot Premium. So fingers crossed that lands in Copilot chat, meaning that we can open the file straight in the apps we use and have a chat with Copilot, stopping the problem of guess the file, trying to explain the file you're looking for inside of a conversation can be pretty tricky. And there's one big change in the roadmap coming up for Hey Copilot. Say that phrase and magically it will appear just like a 21st century clippy to help you out. So that's going to be a real powerful change to make Copilot even easier to access in your everyday work. But for now, I'd say that Copilot Voice is the addition to Microsoft 365 Copilot, which we've always needed. There's just no other way to consider it. And I'm excited to see where Microsoft takes this next, because no date in a few years' time, today's preview will probably look basic compared to what we have then. So do let me know what you think in the comments. Is Copilot Voice something you see yourself using? Or will you head back to the prompt box and continue to type in all of your prompts? And if you also found this tutorial helpful, can you also hit the like button to let me know? And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join thousands of others getting these brand new tutorials every week and also ensure and hit the bell icon. And finally, let's hand it over to Copilot. What does it think about having a voice? Well, let's ask it. Well, it's been amazing getting to actually speak with you all. Having a voice means I get to connect with you in a whole new way, and I'm excited to see where we go from here. So, what a world we now live in. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one.